Hello developers, welcome back to p 5 and this is an uh, advanced tutorial series we are uh, covering and on the series we are learning uh, e-commerce development. So in this tutorial we are going to learn advanced VUX with modular setup because uh, this project has to be large scale and scale easily scalable and uh, can be coded with teams. So now let's talk about how we can make a modular setup of our VUX and if you are completely new to VUX development or uh, VUX then go ahead go back to my previous series and you will be able to learn in depth uh, detail and explanation about uh, about vuex okay in that series i explain everything right now uh, you still be able to pick up but uh, yet uh, this is a little bit advanced but uh, uh, let's see if you can uh, catch this concept okay so this is um uh, VUX tutorial mainly so in the last video I showed you how we can do modular routes so the route has been imported from different modules and can uh, as uh, as now being merged with the default route so uh, whenever we create new routes in different modules we will just add, uh, add that and that will be the end of it okay now in this tutorial we are going to uh, add uh, VUX okay so let's get started npm install VUX so we're installing Vuex and meanwhile let's create a file. So we need a base um, store. So let's create store.js. And here we need to import uh, uh, import view from view. And then once view is imported, <coughs> we need to import the Vuex. Import Vuex from Vuex. And then we need to use that v.use vuex. Okay, that's uh, nice. And then we can simply, you see, we have a, a module set up here. We will uh, go through the documentation uh, one by one. And also, we will see how we can uh, define all these things. Okay. And yeah, I really hope you already understand the basic setup of uh, this. The, uh, um, uh, basic setup of this VUX, okay? So export default new VUX dot store. That's fine. We will just define a state here, and in this state, uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. It has to be this one. Okay, perfect. Now in the store, we will have uh, let's a name. Something. okay that's all we have now we are going to use that in app.js file that's pretty much simple thing so we will use views uh, input store from store and we will simply use that okay that's really fine and now I will uh, try to use it here and see what happens okay and let's create uh, some script here as well and inside created we can uh, log our store console.log this dot store and that's all we can see what happens there perfect so we have the store right now and if you see the state object we can see we have the name here so if you want to print the name here we what we can print it just like this so and this can be used in any of your projects okay see i have um, added the store in uh in resources folder of the public normal one but i'm using it uh at the outside i mean i'm using it inside the modules okay so it is far but it's simply because uh, because we're merging the whole module inside into one big javascript project so that's why we can use them from anywhere okay now let's uh, use the name and print the variable see uh, no this is not the way sorry so store dot state dot name okay this is what we need to print perfect so we got the name here that's awesome now the question is this is um, this vx store has been let's uh, delete this one we don't need any anymore this one this one as well okay so this vx store has been defined inside uh, I mean inside the um, uh, normal default resources folder and that's pretty much simple anyone can do that but what we want to do here is that we want to define our 
Vuex store inside our modules, each modules, okay? So here we have the modules called accounts and inside accounts we have uh, uh, again uh, different JavaScript files including router. So we have defined our personal router inside account. So similarly we have to define our store here as well. So how do we do that? So in order to do that, I will create a folder so that it's separate and I can easily access store and let's call it store.js okay now here the same uh, similar way just like how we did um, uh, how we exported we can have similar exact same thing so we can say export default we can export it and we can have a state here okay and this state can be anything okay so let's say uh, name from account module okay uh, we can say module name or more specific account module yes this is account module store perfect right now we need should be we should be able to access this store in here or anywhere in our project so how do we uh, access that before we access it let's see what we have in the store folder uh, store object so let's refresh it and if we come here if we see here and you see we see nothing okay that's because we have not used this file anywhere okay so we need to use this file we are exporting it now we need to use that so how do we do that so we will export it like uh, we will import it first first import so we can say accounts store from modules obviously accounts obviously resources asset yes and obviously store perfect right now we have imported just just it's exactly similar way how we work with the uh, uh, store router as well so we can import this uh, whole every uh, modules of I mean we can import all this store dynamically using required context but it will take time to compile for us because we have a lot of file to search uh, recursively so we will avoid that and include or import it statically okay so static import is um, fine as well as we just need to uh, use that so whenever any project uh, team member is having uh, uploading your uh, store we just need to we just need to import uh, write this line so this is our dependency we need to take care about this one okay <coughs> and if you if you want to remove any kind of store or router we do just need to do the commenting or you just need to do the uh you just need to comment it out or remove it so it will be removed right away okay that's fine now how do we use that okay so the question is how do we use that so in order to use that we need to use module system in vuex so this is a little bit advanced because uh, we could use a single state tree because yeah uh, and it will become really big and big object and it will be really ugly now if your project is really large scale grows in scale so we need to be able to separate our module uh, store in different modules so how do we do that so we have defined one module and now we need to use that so how do we use it so we use it like modules and then we pass it this way now it's completely depends on us how we want to uh, name it okay so let's keep the uh, naming convention for the time being as a module name and then store okay so this way we can uh, focus a little bit more so account store now we have you can see accounts and then store um, store is our name okay so let's go ahead module name and account uh, i cannot find module account on store.js so let's see what is the problem we are facing here modules account resources as a store uh why we are not being able to access that okay so we need to rename it to index.js so that it can automatically be found so that's fine otherwise we have to define that name as well so that's really perfect now what we need to see is this state object right now you see we have the state account stored now okay well now we will be able to access all the uh, state objects uh, inside of our um, uh, state okay in global uh, global state so this is the global state but we are importing all of our module state as well okay so how do we use that so that's very simple since we want to use our 
uh, let's say accounts module so we write accounts and then we use store and inside account store what we have we have um, accounts module as then uh, as is our variable okay so let's check it out what we have account module I think I misspelled something so let's go back and uh, yeah we need to go access the state as well and then we will be able to print the object so we got the object now now we have the variable here if you access the variable you should be able to access the uh, value as well so here you go we have uh, we access the value really nice okay so we can access this uh, one anywhere we want this is pretty much simple so let's use it here perfect and my thing my computer is making some noise yes yeah, so we have uh, we are being able to access this uh, modular state as well now let's see another example for getters and how we can do the namespacing as well okay so here let's uh, use getters and get module name let's say this is account module and we can say okay state return this is important so keep an eye and try to understand how we are doing it okay so state dot account module perfect so we have a getter now and we should be able to access it anywhere now how do we access the getters right let's uh, refresh this page and see what we have inside of our store perfect we should have a getters here you see getter uh, get module name and we have we have one getter get module name so getter we have one uh, getters inside this uh, module so how do we use that let's use map getters import map getters from vivex and let's use a computer here and map getters you can easily we can we can easily use this uh, method perfect now <coughs> here again we just can access this one easily we can get the module name perfect so we got the access the two. Now I will remove this one so no confusion left. Account normal. So that's really really perfect. Now one problem we can fix and we can encounter in problem because since it's a large scale application, so we can get uh, into problems. Now you see we have get module name. So this name since um, uh, assume this is a very big project, large project. Now um, some of the other developer can might accidentally use your uh, use this name directly. Okay. So if they use this name directly somewhere, then we will get a conflict. Okay. So so if uh, because no one knows who is using what okay so if you work on uh, inside the account modules and if your name is get module name someone else can have the same name exact same name then we will encounter a problem so how do we fix that so in order to fix that we need to use namespace okay so we need to pass a naming so that it is explicitly defined only for us so and this is how we do that we need just uh, need to make it true so if we make it true then let's see how we see the store right now now forget about that one because this is not you cannot access anymore this way so you see getters now we have we we have one of our uh, modules uh, name at the beginning and then we have the getters okay this is how it will be uh, <coughs> defined from now on because we have explicitly defined the namespace to, to true okay now in order to access that we need to uh, use this one but using this one seems really ugly so what we need to do is we need to pass an object okay and inside that object we can define this one and we can use the same exact naming here and it's completely up to you how you should define it okay so now that uh, now we have imported uh, the get module name uh, method 
from account store module store okay and we are naming this variable as get module name and being used here right so that's really perfect so we are using it right here so we have another route let's see what we uh, what route we have in the main project now this can be used anywhere okay if you take this whole code inside let me take this code in in outside of the module I have not uh, touch anything here test so let's uh, use the uh, let's use everything here actually let's use everything here and let's take this h1 instead and paste it here and that's all perfect right now we should be able to access the same exact uh, store from anywhere everywhere or anything so if one team member can actually access the other people's um, other team members um, a store router everything okay so now let's check it out what route we have uh, here uh, okay so we have a route called test page so we should access that test page now see we have a, we, we are able to access the name and the account module so the store is really working fine so thank you guys for watching this video in the next video we will try to learn something uh, much better I mean we will try to uh, see the example inside right now we work on account we will see another example how we can work with the product modules as well okay so after that we will hopefully start the project the uh, real project so this is the basic setup I hope you understand if you do have a question confusion go ahead in our Facebook group uh, add your screenshots and uh, post your question and as you know this is a premium course and I'm trying to cover as much advanced topic as possible and that Definitely, it's going to be really good for anyone, and you can become a really good and pro developers as well on Laravel and Vue.js. Uh, so, if you want to support uh, become being a premium member, please go ahead and um, uh, buy this course, and it's uh, it's uh, on uh, only twenty five dollar, but you can uh, pay as much as you can afford. Thank you. Have a nice time. Good day.